Hey guys, so welcome to another video in which I'll be reviewing uh, different companies which visited the campus in the year 2023 to 2024. Uh, the campus is basically VIT Valor and in this series I'll be reviewing different companies which visited the campus. Uh, so let's continue with the series and this is the fourth video I guess which is uh, in that series and that's BlackRock the company. Uh, it's a very big company and I guess uh, whoever wishes to work in a major MNC around the world should definitely go for this company. So this is a video for selection process for 2023-2024 for software engineering in time and quality analyst role and maybe several other roles also. Uh, so about the company, BlackRock INC is an American multinational uh, investment company. It is the world's largest asset manager with uh, 10 trillion dollar in assets as of December 31, 2023. Uh, headquartered in New York City, BlackRock has 70 offices in 30 countries and clients in 100 of countries. BlackRock was founded in 1988 by Larry Fink, Robert S. Capito and Susan Wagner uh, and many others. So yeah, you can study more about the company. So all in all, it's a very big company. Let's move forward with the selection process of the company. So the company basically uh, visited VIT campus in the month of August in 2023 for 2020 to 2024 batch. Uh, the selection process consisted of four rounds, online assessment round and there were two interview rounds and one HR round. Uh, moving on, so the online assessment round, uh, time sections on various topics were there like aptitude, uh, reasoning, verbal and flowcharts and SQL. So aptitude questions were basically uh, like um, all the questions related to whatever the aptitude things you, uh, aptitude questions you can practice. Reasoning questions were like for example, uh, 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 some reasons for uh, how to be given assertion and reasoning type of questions verbal questions were related mostly to english and in flowchart questions what basically was that uh, there was a big flowchart uh, in the question and uh, a cell was left empty so they usually asked conditions like what should be a condition here that would satisfy this flowchart being correct so that is what the flowchart questions were and sql uh, questions were related to the queries only and uh, also every section is timed and you not you cannot go back to the previous question so think wisely as you have fewer questions and questions are easy to meet in. Uh, flowchart questions were a bit tough as a student had to select the option that a box slash step should have its correct execution so yeah uh, coming to the interview round so first interview around 20, 250 students were shortlisted and 50 plus students were waitlisted there were three different roles in which we were divided namely software role uh, pmg and rqa Many were shortlisted for the software role. Uh, interviews were scheduled for 30 minutes. Some interviews went on for 60 minutes also. Uh, there were two panelists during the interview. Coming on to the uh, questions for the first interviews. So first interview was a little bit easy in compared to the second interview. And both, those, both of these interviews were basically technical interviews only. So first question was like, tell me about yourself and like projects students have done on worked upon or the internships he's working on. The students were asked questions on Python basics, slicing and other topics and also on whichever language the students will be comfortable in. So you can uh, give any language like for example if you are comfortable in Java, C++, Go, Rust, Lang, any language you are com uh, comfortable on. You can just uh, tell the interviewer and he may ask questions from that language also. So there were two DSA questions uh, that were uh, asked for live coding uh, during the interview. So like questions which were asked from my friend were like find median from two sorted arrays and find a cycle in the linked list. So these are the sort of questions that were being asked. So this was like a medium level to question, not a very hard question. Uh, students are also asked live uh, query writing for SQL. So be uh, like good uh, with your structure query language uh, queries because it will help you succeed in this interview. Now coming to the second interview's question. So questions were asked on whichever language the student was comfortable in again. And all basic medium level questions are OOPS, DBMS, SQL operating system. So second interview I'd say is more focused towards the score subjects of your college life where you will be asked questions related to basics of uh, OOPS, database finance system and the SQL queries and operating systems also. Different types of sets, hash set, tree set, linked hash set and the differences. So this question can be categorized into a like question of DSA only. Uh, time and complexities concerning DFS and BFS these type of questions and time complexity is concerning retrieving element based on a list array and linked list so these type of questions were basically asked in uh, this question uh, this particular uh, interview coming to the hr round so basically after both these interviews got over uh, students who are uh, appearing for both the interviews got a personal call of hr round uh, within 10 minutes of the completion of the interview so there was no particular list that was released from uh, blackrock side for this particular thing 
that uh, these these students are shortlisted it was just a personal call like uh, you will be getting a call personally within 10 to 15 minutes if you are shortlisted for the interview and it was com- approximately a 15 minutes for each students uh, that are around basic level sir questions on relocation academics and stuff like that were asked like uh, how do you work under pressure and uh, if this is a situation how will you handle it and stuff like that what as during the hr round it completely depends on interviewer to interviewer that how your hr round is going to proceed so that was uh, regarding the hr round and after all the three rounds uh, got over the final list uh, consisted of 52 students in which 40 were selected for the software profile and six students in each of the other profiles pgm and rqa after the selection after a few days you receive mail from blackrock regarding the next steps the process was for internship and later on based on conversion you would be given ppo all over the process was really uh, very smooth and quick the people from blackrock were very supportive during the entire process uh, so yeah that's it from my side for this video and thank you if you have any questions do drop a comment and we i'll be really happy to answer them uh, some of my friends are even have even joined the company and are interning over there so if you have any questions definitely drop them i'll try to uh, just ask them or if i know the answer i'll be definitely happy to answer them and uh, if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel cause like i'll be making a lot of videos related to campus interviews and what after uh, campus interviews and how should freshers prepare for the interviews and stuff like that and many other tech uh, related videos also would be uh, being uploaded to my channel short, uh, soon enough so till then uh, i'd say goodbye and let's meet in uh, another video